so I am driving through or close to Newtown where the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School took place I don't know I want to say five years ago ten years ago I really don't know right now but it's eerie and saying some prayers here looking to the left and to the right wondering who lost their little one that day uh, quiet small town USA here just gonna talk to you about something else here in a minute from chaos to clarity and how God is not the author of confusion but the devil is and I spent the last couple hours contemplating my plan changing my plan rethinking my plan I should say as I head back home uh, but I'm going to take a little detour here and see if I can't see the elementary school. I don't know why. I just have this overwhelming feeling right now as I pass through. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about my confusion to clarity. Hope you'll join me, guys. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Just drove up to where I thought I was going to maybe see the school. I'm kind of shaking right now because I'm so sad. <laughs> wow, and I didn't know anybody from this situation, but just it's just overwhelming. Um, it says, use intercom when gate is closed. This is a child safety zone, no public use or access to campus during school hours. Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. And there's the gate. And I'm just turning around and I'm going to be heading on down the road. Little sign says home. The uh, little banner beyond it says friendship. And blue skies, beautiful day. And uh, that's it. So, talk to you in a minute. And there is the sign. And what's really weird about all this is this was a detour to save 14, 15 minutes. I had no idea that I was passing through uh, Newtown and Sandy Hook. Um, no clue. Um, so, I'm not sure, except that I'm certainly counting my blessings and I'm feeling uh, very sad for what uh, people are going through probably till this to this day and what's going on in this country with shootings it's just wow can't even can't even wrap my brain around it right now but there's some little homes over there I'm gonna take you right here there's a home there's homes right here I just passed through a cute little town very cute and I'm headed uh, down the road now. Talk to you in a little bit. Guys, um, on the I-84 now. And I'm heading towards the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I am going to be driving probably for two days before I get to the park. And I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm sorry about the nasty steering wheel. But I'm going to try to keep my hand on the nasty part. I'm just not up to getting a uh, cover for it at the moment. Because I haven't been stationary for quite a while. And so, you know, where do I send it to? I don't want to go in a store and look for one. I'd rather just go on Amazon. Anyways, that was a bunny trail for sure. Babbling Brook here. 
Um, I did just look up uh, Sandy Hook. It's just, you know, the thoughts of it's just overwhelming. There's just no words, no words. Um, it was six years ago, December 14th, so it's coming up on an anniversary. Uh, he killed 26 people, excuse me, 20 of them children, and then uh, killed his mom and, or when, you know, left the school, killed his mom as the first responders came uh, to the school and committed suicide. So that's it in a nutshell. If you guys wanted to Google it or not, so I just give you the highlights there, not to um, make known of it, but that I was there today looking, you know, to see if I could see the school. I don't know, say a prayer. I'm not sure why. Maybe God will reveal to me later why. But I wasn't planning on going there. That was not my sightseeing. I'm headed to the Great Smoky Mountains. That was in my Google. And Google asked me if I wanted a detour, uh, save some time, and I said, sure. And from there, I saw the little sign that said Sandy Hook, and it was like, oh my gosh, this is a flashback. Am I really driving through Sandy Hook? And sure enough, then I saw a new town, and I was like, you know what, I'm right here. I'm going to drive through. I'm going to see, look at these people's homes, and I'm just going to feel for a minute. And that's what I did. So anyways, back to my original intent for this video today was to share with you that I was at a rest area last night, slept very peacefully, and went to bed with a plan. And I've had this plan for a few days now that I decided to drop uh, seeing I was going to go to Mississippi and Kentucky on my way back to Texas. I don't know, you know, uh, crunching the mileage and wanting to see those two states because I do want to see all 50 states within the within the year. So I thought, okay, I can do this and not quite a power trip, you know, but, but, it's, but, it's, but it's becoming that now and I'm feeling it and I don't like it. I don't like, I'm not, I don't want to power through states. I felt that a little bit in Boston and then I really felt it as I was in Connecticut, uh, trying to, you know, and Rhode Island, going through uh, Hartford and Providence, if you watch that. And just, you know, I'm just feeling that pressure a little bit because next Saturday, which after, this will be after the fact, of course, I've got so many videos. I'm doing them daily and I'm not real in favor of that guys tell me what you think but if I don't because of the amount of places and things that I've done if I don't do that we're going to be into December or January till I finish off this uh, trip that I took from Utah destination Acadia and then back down back down the coast a little bit towards uh, back to Texas that's the plan. Anyways, so I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna do that after like November. I don't know, mid to November. These videos should be over as far as day 33, day 34. We're gonna go up to probably now day I don't know 40. I have this is day 34, and I want to be back in Texas by next Thursday. So that's. I don't know, another seven days. Yeah, so we're looking at 40, 41 days of travels. All right, so I woke up this morning and then I had my, I got my hot water at Dunkin' Donuts to make coffee, got a bagel from them, and I was uh, finishing uploading a video. And this thought came over me like, Linda, maybe you can do Arkansas and maybe you can do Mississippi, maybe you, and, uh, Connecticut, not Arkansas, Connecticut and Mississippi, not <laughs> Connecticut. This is why I'm not going to do much more. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky and Mississippi. And I was like, maybe you can just go for it. So I wrote down on paper, oh my gosh, I like I wrote down the whole entire trip here and the mileage 
and a couple different formats. If I took out Mississippi, if I took out Kentucky, uh, maybe take out Tennessee and go straight to Texas. So I'm going round in circles. And all of a sudden, it just dawned on me, Linda, you are creating chaos where God had already given you clarity. A couple days ago, a wave came over me to just go to the Smoky Mountains, go through Tennessee, because that's a natural route anyways from where I'm at now. That's I'm not detouring any. And then hit up Arkansas if you have the time, because I want to see a little area there. I just met somebody, and I'm pretty excited about seeing this little town called uh, Mena in Arkansas. It's about 26 miles away. It's, it's a town 26 miles from where this uh, particular person has land. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to start like visiting that. God has dropped a little, he's planted a little seed. So anyways, I'm, I know I'm going back and forth here. I'm kind of losing my train here a little bit, but so I decided to stop the chaos and stop the confusion like I said a couple days ago God gave me the clarity just to go go back go through Tennessee now stop in Arkansas that was a little additional I was going to do Arkansas anyways but Menno is added to it go to the Ozark or mountains or the Hot Springs National Park if I have time and be in Louisville you know be in Texas a couple days um, beforehand before your show because then I'll be taken off again <clears throat> throughout Texas for shows anyways <coughs> excuse me but it was a good it was a good learning you know it was a good situation where I was able to catch it catch the catch the confusion catch the chaos and release it because God's already given us the clarity He's already given it to me. I don't need to go in circles and go, should I, could I, would I, uh, do I have this and that. And the beauty of it is I'm already now thinking of this fun road trip that I'll take in the spring. After Arizona, maybe I'll, you know, I'm going to catch these states that I haven't seen yet. And uh, I'll take my time. You know, not that... I don't know, I hear, you know, Arkansas, well, Mississippi, you know, I want to go to Tupelo and Jackson. I want to see Elvis's birthplace, but I don't want to rush. I, I don't want to say, oh my gosh, Yolanda, you only have a half an hour here before you got to get back in Serenity. And that's what I've been feeling like over the last uh, few days, especially since I hit Boston. Continue for three quarters of a mile. I'm running out of time, literally running out of time and I'm ready to slow down the train and in the spring I won't be running out of time because I won't have this deadline. You know even when I was in Arizona I had I lost my train of thought because I think I got off track here and that's why Google came on my GPS. Anyways I think I was saying I had a month to get up to Washington and then I did the camp host and then I had you know two weeks to get down to Utah and then when I was there for two months and then I was pretty much you know free range here for a while um, with a, a good you know five six weeks and now here we are here we are I've got a I've got a show on the 26th so I can't be messing around anymore and I'm looking forward now I've got something to look forward to in the spring like I was mentioning and I apologize I'm all over the board I think just driving through Newtown, Newtown and Sandy Hook just just really just got me uh, all my wires all confused right now but because I was thinking about this video before I you know what I was going to share with you and I thought I would stay more on track yes the babbling brook is out in full force Anyways, I'm going to look forward to catching up and doing the last, maybe, I don't know, I have six or eight states that I have to do, 
and I will be seeing states at a different season too. You know, I have experienced so much fall now that I'm really looking forward to s spring and uh, not rushing my time away, but you know, from Arizona, maybe I'll go to New Mexico and I don't know, I'll check out Oklahoma because I wanna look at uh, land there. And when, guys, when I'm sharing that with you now, you know, if you know of anything, I am looking to buy a very inexpensive half an acre or less to uh, have a landing place. Now, God may see different. Something may come through with Hawa, you know, Homes on Wheels Alliance, Cheap RV Living, where they get some land. I would, wouldn't mind being- Welcome to New York. But I'm not sure going to turn off. Okay, we're good. <laughs> 84 West. Welcome to New York. Oh, that's what Google just told me. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I'll just continue to ask God and, and he'll show me the way. Um, I, God is no coincidences. And I met this lady randomly as I was looking at the, uh, I was in Cape Cod. I met her and asked her if she had land and she said yeah i do and i have no idea like this was like 5 30 at night we're freezing to death it's like really really windy i was just asking her about the body of water and all of a sudden this conversation comes up and so i know god does things like that but i will you know pay attention as i go and see see where he leads me so then from oklahoma you know, maybe I'll catch K Kentucky and uh, Missouri. I feel I still need to do Missouri. And South Dakota, North Dakota is still on the list. And Kentucky's on the list. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll, who knows, maybe I'll end up in the Florida area in the summertime. I really don't know and then I'll maybe I'll come back to Texas or maybe I'll have a piece of land by then and I'll be setting up my little landing place I really don't know it is a still and I don't know situation so I think this video is long enough I am now on a path about 1700 miles and I'm going to still stop through Tennessee and then I will be back for my back to Texas for my show season and then now we got dark again here sorry about that and then, uh, yes California up to Arizona wherever the RTR and WRTR is gonna be I want to I'd like to do a meetup or you know a meet-and-greet is what I like to call it we don't even know where the RTR is yet so or if there is one hopefully there is <laughs> And I'm going to do a lot of volunteering there, and I'm really stoked for that. So, guys, I am a big, uh, I am a big picture thinker. I'm a planner, and so that's about it for today. I'm going to continue enjoying this drive. I know I'm really in the dark now. Uh, enjoying the drive, doing some thinking and contemplating, and I don't know, just thinking about my memories and. Finally knowing what state I'm in because I was starting to lose track and it was all running together. That was something else that I didn't like that feeling. I'm just It's all running together. I'm not remembering anything. I'm just, I'm on a power trip and I did not want to be on a power trip. So, all right. Blessings in your day. Enjoy in the journey. This is day number 34. Love you guys. Bye. Remember to subscribe and share this with a friend. Okie dokie.